go ahead and do your thing. All right, guys, what's going on? I am at Benny Fierro's in Southside, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, taking on their Benny's 28-inch pizza challenge. Got a 28-inch plain pizza in front of me. I have 28 minutes to finish it. If I finish it, I can win $100 since I'm a competitive eater. If I don't finish it, it's gonna cost me $30. 28 inches, 28 minutes. Got to have all the food in my mouth and 30 seconds after that to finish it. I'm gonna let this cool down for another second and then we'll get started here. All right guys, so we're gonna start the challenge here. Let me know whenever you're ready. Let's go in three, two, one. What's going on guys, Sean the Mouth Eats back here with another food challenge in restaurant for you, a giant pizza. If all went well with editing, you guys are probably watching this on Super Bowl Sunday. If not, sorry, that's my fault. So at this point in the video, you can see we're about two and a half minutes into the challenge. Fun fact, I actually used to live about two blocks away from where this challenge takes place in Pittsburgh. And it's actually a pretty famous challenge among food competitors. It kind of got changed over the years a little bit, but it used to be a $500 cash prize if you beat the speed record for finishing the pizza. So Molly Schuyler, Jeff Esper, Brandon Clark, The Garbage Disposal, they've all done this challenge and have videos on YouTube. So you should check those out if you get a chance. But now they don't really have the same size challenge. I think it's a little bit smaller. And if you're considered a professional eater, you can only win $100 at most. So I was really excited to finally get to try this challenge after not being able to do it during the entire pandemic. Like I said, I lived two blocks away, but now I finally got a chance to take a crack at it. So I wanna talk a little bit about the challenge itself now. The 28 inch pizza, you have 28 minutes to finish it. I would guess it was around six and a half, maybe seven pounds. One thing I completely underestimated was letting it cool, how it would work against me. If I could do this again, I would have eaten it almost straight out of the oven. Because once that crust got cool, it got very chewy and very difficult to finish the pizza. So you can see I'm kind of making a mess of things, dipping it in water, doing whatever I can with the crust because it's just not going down easy and my jaw is getting very tired. But I can't say enough about the staff here at this location. Check them out in the south side of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Benny Fierro's. They're a chain um, kind of on the east coast. I know they have some in Virginia, but this is the one in Pittsburgh. I don't know what that guy was talking about, his birthday cakes. I didn't even hear that while I was eating. But I'm getting close to the end here. A few minutes ago in the challenge, I was a little bit worried. 
but I think I had a good burp sometime around this part and I knew I was going to be able to finish. It was just a matter of how much time I'd have left of the 28 minutes. glorious feeling of putting that last bite in my mouth. I'm going to let the video wrap up guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks guys. Alright guys. That was the Benny's 28 inch pizza challenge. 19 minutes and 26 seconds. Tasted really good. It was very chewy. But we got it done here. I think they said only three people have done it at this location before me, so I guess I'm the fourth. Thanks for tuning in to another Shout the Mouth Beats video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry out there. Peace.